there are some students who hang man division, um, they can still do when dividing decimals. So you pretend the decimal is not even there. So you have 495 divided by nine. And you always make a bank of facts over to the side that we can use. So I at least know nine times 10, which is 90. If I could do nine times 10, I could do nine times 20. I wanna make sure I can get groups that are as close to 495 as possible. So I can do nine times 40, which is 360. I can do nine times 50, which is 450. So this is as close, I just did 10, 20, 40, 50. Everybody's banks look different, but I do realize that I have a really big group I can pull out, so I can at least start there. So I pulled my groups over here, so I took out 50 groups, and I subtract 450. I get 45 left over. And because I know my nines multiplication facts, I know I can pull out five groups of nine, which is 45. When I end up with zero, you add up your groups and you get 55. But it's not 55 as an answer. It would be 55 whole numbers if I was doing 495. But when you do the hangman, you pretend the decimal is not there until the very end when you count your smiles. So I have one, two place values until I get to the decimal. So I have one, two place values. My answer is 55 hundreds.